Hey, people into tier 3v3, Hades wastes blue team. Chadam is a warlock, a melee spellcaster that can leap into combat, some powerful disruption and support alongside. Golden Eagle is a warboss, a melee brawler that walks through objects, very strong disruption and support. The free brutal orcs here. And rounding off the blue team is Gaius Baltar as a Chaos Lord. Durable and destructive hero walks through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption. The Thousand Suns elite scheme here. Red team, Mondego. Mondego? Brother, brother, captain, very durable hero, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful disruption and support fighting in melee. I think I'll go with Mondego. Alongside is Sincorn with another warboss. And we've seen some warboss on warboss violence. Very, very stompy. That was a special attack. The previous one was a stomp, I think. Another special attack. Here comes double sluggers from Golden Eagle. There's the second sluggers over there. That was a stomp from Sincon. So they now both use their stomp. Double shooters from Sincon. Uh oh. Those sluggers got very low. But here we see Golden Eagle throwing their own sluggers away. I don't think they can get away from this. And they fall. That's a big misplay from Golden Eagle. Although it's sluggers, they can be easily replaced. But the war boss of Sincon went down. Golden Eagles got away. Meanwhile, rounding off the red team is Dogpile. As an Inquisitor, offensive hero with powerful control abilities begins in melee combat but can get specialized range weapons. The Mordian Iron Guard elite scheme here. Chaos Lord chasing down some poor guardsmen. And Inquisitors chasing these guys. They're getting quite low, already in half hit points. She's got a plasma pistol which is Unfortunately, not quite as impressive as it sounds. Plasma pistols aren't super great. We generally want the higher raw DPS of a bolt pistol on a hero. Bolt pistols are pretty good. They got buffed quite a lot. Maybe it's time to buff these plasma pistols, fellas. Especially the starting one for the Inquisitor. Unless it's been buffed already. It was. Oh, these guys are very low. They're going to die, aren't they? She's got Hammer of the Witches available. There it is. Hammer of the Witch is finished. Big misplay from Gaius Baltar. Kept those fellas in battle way too long. They were trying to finish off the Sentinel. I think it is going to go down. Shooter boys are here to help out. And down it goes. There it is. Gaius Baltar is quite an experienced player too these days. Should not have lost those CSM in that way. But as I was saying, I think this the Plasma Pistol used to be like 7.8 DPS. It wasn't super impressive. Yes, it does extra versus heavy infantry. But still... It's only 30% more or something. Doesn't make it suddenly great. War boss be fighting. Oh, that's a bang bang hammer. From Golden Eagle. And use your choppers and odd boys on him. Really wanted to win that fight. I am the biggest around here, he's saying. We have the angry bits up too. Howling Banshees for Chadam. Channeling runes, keeping them alive. Look at that heal, that is so powerful. Up against double strike squad who do have their banishment from the Tomes of Titan. Ouch. Howling Banshees are a power melee squad so they are a big threat to heavy infantry. But they're going to go down here I think. Need to plant their feet and shoot. Need to plant their feet and shoot. They didn't do it. Banshees might get away. It might have been because they were being tied up by the Warlock. But one of them could have planted their feet. And... Uh, with the higher accuracy, might have been able to finish them off. You do lose accuracy as you shoot on the move, with most weapons anyway. 484 to 454. Did I see the boss pole there? Yeah, boss pole is up for Sincon. With some guardsmen bashing a node. What's up with Gaius Baltar? They replaced their Chaos Space Marines. They still have the Aspiring Champion Heretics. And a Combi Flamer, of course. That low rumble of the Combi Flamer is just terrifying. 30 odd DPS. But it always feels like way more while you're getting chased around with it. Look at the damage those guardsmen are taking. Heretics are going to get. A re that would have been a really good Doom Blast on those double shooters, but they already retreated out. Uh oh. Sluggers on Sluggers. War Boss trying to help out. There he goes. Oh, just kicked that Slugger to death there. Bang Bang Hammer is so fun. 75 DPS. They attacked pretty slowly. I think it's like 150 per hit. 
and uh, you get that buff to surrounding allies too. Charging in. Katachun's on the field for Dogpile. Very versatile infantry that can help you counter melee. Looks like they're not interested in fighting the war boss though, are they? They've lost some energy, so they must have used their grenade launcher or something. But uh, have they used their shotgun blast? Where's their shotgun blast? Hammer of the Witches will do it. Ard Boys was up there on Golden Eagle's war boss. Chadam has rangers up, and Guy Spalta has some raptors up. Catachins should be very useful for helping to deal with the raptors. Any sign of the... No, we don't have the Harness of Rage to feed energy into those raptors. Strike Squad in trouble. Power melee kicks. Down they go. Oh no, they got away. Four hit points. They got away. Could the Banshees have stayed in for a split second longer and finished them off? It would have been super risky. The Brother Captain, though, takes out the Warlock and he's got the Merciless Witchblade there. That's a big win for the Brother Captain. Daka on the central power gen. There are your Raptors jump troops that suppress when they land. Have 30 DPS melee, so they can tear through stuff like Garden pretty efficiently. Chaos Lord is bypassing the Sluggers, going straight for the Guardsmen here. Shotgun Blast was directed onto the Chaos Lord, which doesn't knock him over or suppress him, so it's not super useful. And now they can't use it on the Raptors, and the Chaos Lord just ran up to them, threw a bunch of Lasgun fire and set the ground on fire. Which is fun. Raptors did really well. Can they jump again and finish off the Catachins? Looks like they're not going to try it. Killed a week from the Chaos Lord there. His starting ability, which heals him for every model hit by it. It's a big 360 attack. Very useful for staying alive. It does do a huge amount of damage, but... Pretty great, nonetheless. Raptors got very low. Big special attack from the Inquisitor, too. But she has to run away. These guys should get out of here now. Heretics, meanwhile, are decapping the VP. Looks like they are going to stick around and help Power Bash. Western VP, which is contested, is turning blue thanks to the Rangers. And we have some Hollow Fields infiltration here. The Banshees have what? Mark? Oh, sorry, Mark. Aspect of Fleetness. Warboss charging in is a pretty good charge. Helped up the Raptors there too. There's a stomp. Sluggers are on him though. Needs to run away. Uh-oh. Catachins have power melee so they can be a big threat to a low level hero, even a melee one. Warboss, although he's level 3 now. Sincon's war boss is down. We've got looters up here and tier 2 all round. Looks like the Chimera of Dogpile is going to be the first tier 2 unit. Any war gear for the brother captain? Nope, he's level 2 though. Grey Knight Dreadnought on the way. We've seen the uh, Plasma Cannon Dreadnought do some great things in 3v3, so maybe we'll see one of those fellas, which is always fun. West side. Howling Banshee's jumping over things. And stalking those strike squad. Done really well. Warlock is fully kitted out now. Merciless Witchblade. Cloak of Shadows to further support those Banshees and the Channeling Runes. Powerful loadout, but makes that Warlock pretty expensive. Relatively light tier 1 from Chadam here. 459 to 303. Did they have more Dire Avengers up at some point and they lost them? I'm not even sure. But the captain has to leave. See that merciless switch play draining energy from that guy. On hit. Red team have pushed through onto the natural VP of blue. And they be a grabbing it. Looks like it's going to be 2 to 1 for red team. At least momentarily here. We have the Grey Knight Dreadnought starts off with a nifty flamer. Don't get to see much of it because the Grey Knight Dreadnought is typically upgraded quite quickly to something else. But uh, did some good damage to those Banshees. Needed to use the channeling runes there to get them healed up. Let's we'll see what the Flamer can do to some enemy Orcs. There's some right here. Yeah, it's pretty effective at burning Orcs. What are they doing? Gonna die. Golden Eagle completely forgot about these fellas, I think. Tank Busters are on the way. Help combat this... Chimera, Plague Marines getting shots in. Chaos Lord needs to completely mess up these guards when there's some fire for you. Raptors have an aspiring champion. 
has this awesome heavy melee demon maul. One of the meanest looking melee weapons in this game, I think. The fire has stopped. Chaos Lord is sad, but now we can try to slaughter some catatrons. Got killed a week and ran away. Heretics moving in on the catatrons here. They do fare reasonably well in melee against catatrons if they have their aspiring champion. As long as they can avoid the disruption from the shotgun and stuff before they get in. They can do some good work with some well-timed Doom Blasts. Are they going to escape here though? 435 to 290 on the VPs. Falcon up for Chadam. And here come Fire Dragons to help take out the Grey Knight Dreadnought. The Falcon does have some decent anti-vehicle weaponry, but look at this. Look at this flamey Grey Knight Dreadnought here. That is uh, the distortion field on the Banshees there to help them get away. The Warlock went down again. Maybe some melee attacks from the Dreadnought did it. And the Brother Captain has gone for the Nemesis Demon Hammer to help against those Banshee Rushes. Pretty good anti-melee weapon. And the Unending Purge as well. Health on hit and some energy regen. Falcon is now trying to pressure the Grey Knight Dreadnought. That's not the weapon that is good against vehicles though, I don't think. I think it's the one that faces forward all the time. 402 to 290. War truck on the field for Syncon. Golden Eagle looking very depleted here. He's down to double tank busters and that's it. He needs to be carried now. Tier 3 for Gaius Baltar. Plague Marines exploding in the midst of enemy orcs, which is fun. Tying them up in melee. See, that, see those red debuff circles there? That's the Plague Marines just slowing things down because they're so close to them. And they smell really bad. Improvised explosive up in the mid there from the Catachins. And Stormtroopers without an upgrade yet for Dogpile, keeping his options open. Fire Dragons meanwhile, are they going to use the uh, webway? Is there another webway anywhere? I don't think there is. I don't see one on the map. That's the shield. 374 to 290. Grey Knight Dreadnought's done really well with his flamey, you know. Almost leveled up. Oh, that's Judgment up on the Falcon from the Inferno Pistol. After 20 seconds or so, or so she can judge the Falcon and do 300 damage to it. I don't know if she's close enough, though. She got a lot of damage there really quickly. Double Tank Busters. Can they get the job done? They are being flamed to hell. Oh, does the Flamer suppress you as well? Those fellas got suppressed there. I mean, it's understandable if it does. The War Boss of Golden Eagle with a Power Claw has revived the Warlock. I don't know if Chadam realises that the Warlock is back on his feet, though. Yeah, here comes the Brother Captain to smack him to death. Down he goes again. Spiky armor on the field now for Sincon. Should always tell your allies when you go for a revive because you never know what they're concentrating on. Tier 3 for Golden Eagle. Tier 3 also for Sincon. Looks like Gaius Baltar's already there. 362 to 290. Pretty close on VP still. Look at that power bash. Pretty good power bash. Let's we'll see how quickly it takes down this generator. Each burst lasts for a really long time. Is that like a four or five second bash on the generator? But the captain runs away. Judgment is still up on something. It's still up on the Falcon, actually. 354 to 290. Tier 3 now for Mondego. Raptors jumping in, slaughtering some shooter boys. They are reinforcing off this war truck, which I think might have kept them alive there. Raptors are persuaded to leave by lots of Daka. And the war boss is going to try and get a decap, maybe. Tank Buster Barrage. Barrage the hell out of those guardsmen. Inquisitor barely survived it, too. Power Claw War Boss backhanding that Stormtrooper to death. 95 heavy melee damage from that thing. Or DPS, I should say. And we have heavy armor. 323 to 290. Getting some kills. Catechins are still a threat, though. There's that shotgun blast. It should be going into melee. He doesn't have spiky armor, just heavy armor. 
improvised, uh, sorry, all reliable grenade launcher there, knocking back double tank buses. They haven't been able to get onto the, well, I guess the Chimera's down. Montego just had a bad fight. What happened? I guess Fire Dragons happened and a Bright Lance. Down goes the Dreadnought. And a nuke in the mid. I'm just missing everything. Shoot the boys get away with three hit points. There's a bunker here. Looks like it is a medical bunker because of the health regen on those catechins, so they can reinforce off it. They could, they could also reinforce off the war truck, but it's not always going to be there, is it? Some Marcos each care space rings for Guy Spalter. Mondego now down to a strike squad. Is getting their power bashed. We have the Flamer X up there. I mean, how much faster is the bash with the Flamer? I'm not sure. I think they're pretty damn effective with just melter guns. But hey, options, eh? Options if you're fighting something in cover or a garrison. Pretty useful to have a Flamer to go to. I think they can switch between them freely. Not sure how long it takes to switch though. Usually. 20 seconds to switch war gear and stuff. But not sure if the same for that. Chaos Lord went down. Inquisitor in amongst the Plague Marines who are in amongst a whole bunch of stuff. Here comes the Nob Squad from Syncon. Looks like Golden Eagles also getting some Tank Buster Barrage going in. Pretty effective. Massive fight in the mid here. Massive fight. Golden Eagle going after the enemy Nob Squad with that Power Claw. Gets the Stomp but missed them with it. Sincon is pushing through the mid also. Big target for the Raptors to jump on back there. You can suppress all those forks. There we go. Gonna go after the looters, I imagine, yep. Yeah. Catechins are there, but they're not reacting at the moment. Dog pile is watching something else, and the looters are whacked out by the Raptors. That fella got a sink kill. Saw a bunch of Eldar and turned away. Oh, they're not even fighting back here. Look at this. It's because they're infiltrated. Infiltrated units won't fight back until you expressly tell them to. There we go. Now they're stabbing them with their magical power melee knives. 255 to 256 on the VPs. Evened up a lot. Mondego with some Grey Knight Terminators on the way. Brother Captain's down over here. Warlock is also down though. This Falcon has been really good. Oh, there's the judgment. We saw it, but it didn't. Just dented the shield there. The shield of the Falcon is so good. It's level three as well now. What is this? Is he giving? Looks like he's bossing the. He's uh, buffing the improvised explosive with his boss pole there, which is weird. I wonder if it actually gave him more hit points. I should have checked. 229 to 256 on the VPs. Catechins versus Banshees. Got that war shout going on. That is an Eldritch Storm. Saw it very quickly there, Dogpile. Catechins are still going to get hit by it though. They survive. Looks like they have survived. There's an Orbital from Mondego. Has had enough of these Eldar. Trying to keep them in play because he knows they can reinforce off the Falcon. There's the Judgment again. The Falcon is just tanking it though. Looks like we are going to see the War Boss reviving that Warlock again. Hopefully the Warlock realises this time. Big chunk of XP for it. 226 to 251 on the VPs. Double Nob Squad for Syncon. And they both have their Nob Leaders soon. The Nobs for Golden Eagle have Mina and Greener and Nob Leader, but they don't have their Hammers yet. I think it's a luxury upgrade, those hammers. Don't have to stress about it too much. Get that knobbly, they get the meaner and greener. And they're pretty damn powerful. Here comes a Rhino from Mondego. Where are those Terminators? There they are. They have splash damage, power melee halberds. So they should be able to tear through the Banshees pretty well, although channeling runes could even up that fight quite a lot. And the Banshees will do good damage to the Terminators. It's a lot of knobs. I don't know if you want to get a tank that close to two knob squads. Judgment up on the Curse Predator and now the rocks misses everything as a wasted nuke there. 226 to 217. Big orc fight in the mid again. 
Who cares about VPs, lads? Just fight in the middle. They love it. I guess two knob squads beats one knob squad, eh? Raptors do not want any part of this. A bunch of Daka too. Shooter boys are wiped out there. Tank busters barely get away. Big push from Sincon. Golden Eagles war boss is still here. Uh oh, might go down on retreat though. There's a lot of knobs. Smack, smack, smack. Down he goes. Meanwhile, west side has been decapped. Rhino trying to get this Falcon dealt with using the last cannon. Got the shield down. Very fancy special attack then from the Warlock. And then a cool, a cool uh, sink kill there. Brainout Terminators are very, very low. Banshees are chasing. Oh, they did reinforce off the Rhino. That might have saved them. That might have saved them. They're still quite away from base, though. And here's the Warlock to help out. Grenade misses. Looks like they're going after the Rhino now. It was path blocking them. Lots of dead heroes in the mid. Inquisitor down. And the war boss down here. And the brother captain's down over there. So is Golden Ego's war boss too. 226 to 200 on the VPs. 1 to 1 cap. Raptors somehow make it through all those orcs. Really good retreat grenade on those uh, plague marines actually. But here we see Lehman Russ with the executioner. Plague Marines exploding on death, which might have saved the last one, maybe. It's a lot of DACA, though. And down they go. Almost got the cap. Tank Buster Barrage on the big blob of Orcs. More interested in fighting than capping. The Neiman Rust doing really good damage to that enemy Nob Squad there. Look at that. Hard boys up on these knobs, that's from the global bar of the war boss. Blue team are struggling to bop their heads against this. There's no havocs, no suppression to help deal with the knobs. I mean, would it even work? You've got two knobs with, uh, with their frenzy. You need like three havocs to help deal with that. Down goes the Chaos Lord. Mark of Corn Predator having a go now. Barrage misses the Lehman Rust. There's so many tank buster barrages. Speaking of tank busters, those were Syncons did some good work against that Predator tank there. Meanwhile, West Side on the contested VP. Grey Knight Terminator is barely getting away. They're going to be chased here. Falcon needs to keep moving. Banshees are nice and quick. And they're level 4. They're ready to tear them apart. And they're going to get it done. Mondego down to just stormtroopers on that side now. Needs some serious help. His teammates are doing well on the other side. Uh oh. Imperial Abyss from Gaius Baltar. That was a hell of a nuke. Wiped out the stormtroopers and took out the Lehman Russ, I believe. I think. I mean, there's more stormtroopers here, but I saw ten red pop up. That might have just been. That might have just been squad leaders from the guardsmen actually. No, it couldn't have been. Or maybe it was. Because they are die last squad leaders, but they might have already reinforced. Anyway, it was a good nuke. Now we're getting a pretty effective power bash from double tank busters. And they're straight onto the VP. Gonna get a triple cap here, I think. Red team just kind of ran out of steam on that east side. Double knobs doing a lot of heavy lifting, level 3 and level 2. But can they do enough heavy lifting? Cyborg implants and boss pole. Still no sign of anything in particular to help deal the knob squad. Nothing much to help control them kind of thing. Chaos Lord could get his blood maul to help disrupt them. Or even just his claws for the destructive strike and the pure DPS. We see Melter Raptors here. Nope, just runs away. Fair enough. Does have some flash gits. That they're Git Finders. Triple cap here for the blue team though. 
Red team just stroll on through. And they're gonna get the two naturals back, and here comes Sincon. The first time I've really seen them come to this west side. Can Chadam deal with this? Does have a fire prism now. The fire prism is like paper when the knob squad gets close to it. But to keep that thing at maximum range, level 7 Inquisitor. I think maybe she, sh she should get her mandate for capping stuff. But they wanted another Lehman Rush, which is understandable. Chaos Lord back on the VP here, level 6. But it might be time to get some anti melee here, guys. Baltar, get some bloodletters, okay? Bloodletters can do huge amounts of damage to knobs, but they're going to be well supported and they've already, already leveled up as well. We'll see how it goes. Here comes Chadam. Putting some pressure on. Falcon tanking damage like crazy. But can it tank two knob squads? There's the washout. Really well timed washout too. Suppress those guys pretty well. The war boss is chasing the Falcon, but he's not going to do a whole lot with his default weapon, is he? How are you still capping? He must have got knocked off the cap or something. I'm not sure. 170 to 108. Maybe it just takes that long to cap, eh? There's that pawn worship. Plus two speed for all of Gaius Baltar's units and Bloodletters will get health and energy regen for being demons. Is that Warlock down again? They are. They've died quite a lot on that west side. Raptors jumping after the Lehman Russ. There's that Melter. There it is. Nob Squad might be able to finish it off now. Looks like they're not going after it though. 170 to 99. Hell of a push here from the blue team. The Chaos Lord has got some lightning claws now. Awesome. Massive fight. They are not decapping the VP. Down goes Lehman Russ. Chaos Lord getting stuck into some enemy knobs there, I believe. And a rocket run. Holy crap from Dogpile. Hitting some friendly knobs there, but they popped Frenzy, I think. The second run didn't hit super well. The first one was pretty good. Triple cap now for Red Team. Really topsy-turvy game here. We have a Terminator Librarian for Mondego and Double Purgation. Getting some anti-vehicle. There's the Conversion Beamer. Maybe we'll see Double Conversion Beamers, but we might see the... Uh, Silences instead. Okay. After that fight, blue team got the red team's natural, but red team have the blue team's natural still. Thanks to these guys, I assume. More stormtrooper shenanigans. Blue team are taking back the west side. And the warlock is back to his feet. More bloodletters for Gaius Baltar, who they were lost in the uh, last fight. Chaos Lord also went down there. So it wasn't the best fight for guys, Baltar. Those holes got sneaky on us. 97 to 99. Looks like blue team are going to get a 2 to 1 cap here. Where are they going to hit next? Chadam is looking quite stable on this west side now with that fire prism, although it won't knock over the brother captain. And he's got the holy armor of Titan now, which is a good capping tool. Banshees. Are they going to go after him? Nope. Going after this stuff. Which is a mistake, maybe. Oh, Nob Squad just don't want to fight them, apparently. There we go. They've spotted the Banshees. Bang, 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 bang. They both have huge jammers now, these guys. Scary, scary damage output. Banshee's got away. Warlock is taking back the west side. Sneaky Stormtroopers, though. And they got down the Fire Prism. Well done, Dogpile. Excellent usage of the Stormtroopers there. Positioning. Timing. Judgment. Got it done. Got some corn Worship now. Just having to recap the things that the Stormtroopers messed around with. But who died over there? Just a purgation model, I think. Orbital, which uh, I don't think did too much. 
96 to 96. Nope, there's a one-to-one -one cat. Did not get the tick down. Looks like Red are going to get a two-to-one here. Don't think guys bolt tires enough to deal with the two knob scores or maybe now here comes Golden Eagle with the assist Sincon and Gaius Boltard both down to just uh, three units on the field but two of Sincons are level four knobs so yeah yeah still level seven now with the demonic visage to debuff on hit which is a pretty good way to help combat knobs judgment is up on that amazing falcon She's going after it, level 8. Kashukin on the way for Dogpile. Yet more purgation for Mondego. 2-1 to one cap here. Seeing very little doubles on the west side. Or maybe we'll see one here from Golden Eagle. Also here is Dogpile all the way from the east side. Sincon does have a rocks available. Chadan, I think, can throw out an Eldritch as well. I don't think they've used it recently. There's the conversion beam up. Does more damage the further away it is from the target. So this should be good hits against that Falcon. Look at that. Uh oh. Bantry's getting in there though. And there's the rocks from Sincon. Decent one. Stop those guys in their tracks at least. 91 to 84. There's the Sanctuary from the Terminator Librarian. Good tool to use against Banshees. Warp throw into an Eldritch. Well played, Chadam. Beautifully done there. Warp throw is one of his accessories. So replace these channeling runes for that. Mondego asking for a res resurrect. There we go. And they have that VP. 91 to 71. Their power's being bashed and they've lost both the naturals. D cannon on the way now for Chadam. Gonna help keep the VP clear because he can throw aside even a brother captain with that. And it should get him off the cap. Power bash from the purgation with his incinerators. There we go. And why not? Looks like he didn't power bash in the mid. Chaos Lord is menacingly waiting by the VP. Challenging anyone that wants to come and have a go. There's three knobs now in Sincon's army. Two of them level four. One is fresh. Webway used by Chadam. The cannon I assume is going to set up on that western side. Yep. Yeah. Banshees have been awesome here. Power bash is completed. Might even get a decap. Meanwhile, hell of a kill the week from the Chaos Lord, but it needs to be so careful. Can he get out of there even? It's gonna go down, I think. Yep. Oh, they accepted the challenge and they took him down. They are gonna get their natural back, I think. They should be able to just power through straight onto this one, I believe. Single cap for the blue team, down to 20 VPs now, the red fellas. The map looking very blue to, blue at the moment, but with three knob squads, you can do a lot. There's an Imperial Abyss, though. Really well timed by guys Boltar. These guys are just running through it. They ain't got time to run away. This one kept on going through, eh? Okay, our Space Marines in big trouble. How did you survive that, fellas? Down to nine VPs, the red team. They are going to get a two to one here. The knobs took a lot of damage, though, running through that nuke. They ran through the warp and survived. Okay, another Grey Knight Dreadnought on the way from Mondego. Oh, hey, we have a... That was Canticle of Absolution there. But these guys all ran away from it. Would have given them health and energy regen. I guess it was just a bit too dicey to stay there. But nice idea from Mondego. That's a singularity. There it is. Big chunk of health off those purgation fellas. Sanctuary from the Terminator Librarian. He's done pretty well so far. But the captain's level 6. Those heals on hit. Not sure if it's going to be enough to fight the Banshees with though. 
There's that demolishing strike. Does he get heal on ranged attacks as well? Oh, he does. But the red team have run out of VPs. There it is. Blue team get up with a 2 to 1. Look at the resources that Chad Dam had at the end. Could have got an avatar up. Maybe they were going to. The Dreadnought did make it out. Didn't get to shoot anything though. A hell of a game. Not the highest level play ever. But super fun back and forth. Especially in the mid and the eastern side. The Orcs went mental on both both teams there. We got a level 10 Warboss. Level 7 Warlock. Level 8 Chaos Lord. The Brother Captain level 6. The other Warboss level 7. And... The Inquisitor level 9. Hell of a game. Well fun. Thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.